Hello, I'm David Chaston with 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This is where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, including news today is a public holiday in Wellington. However, that has not stopped ASB from changing mortgage rates. It has raised its two-year fixed rate 20 basis points to 5.45% while cutting three, four and five-year rates. This has flattened their mortgage rate curve and they now have the lowest difference between one and five-year mortgage rates in almost four years. We've been seeing a gradual rise in wholesale swap rates since November and these increases have been across the curve. Now is a good time for homeowners to assess their floating rate mortgages as it seems that fixed rate mortgages are starting their expected rise. In the US, with earnings momentum on the rise, the S&P 500 seems to have seems to have few hurdles ahead as it continues to power high, its all-time high not too far away. It closed last week at a fresh five-year high on strong housing and labour market data and a string of earnings that beat expectations. American home resales are expected to have risen 0.6% in December when data is released on Wednesday. Pending home sales contracts, which lead actual sales by a month or two, hit a 30-month high in November. And their new home sales report at the end of the week is expected to show a 2.1% increase. American markets seem completely desensitised to the endless budget battles going on in Washington. However, there was a surprising development on that front. House Republican leaders proposed a three-month extension of the federal debt limit, a significant shift in Republican strategy, and an easing of immediate tension. There is no major data released in New Zealand this week, and with regulators on holiday in Wellington, we can expect a normal, uninterrupted and productive business day. The New Zealand dollar starts today at 83.6 US cents, 79.7 Aussie cents, and the TWI is at 75.3. I'm David Chaston, that was 90 at 9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.